Hello, this is how you assemble your tomato tent. It arrives in a box that looks somewhat like this. In there, it looks somewhat like this. First thing you want to do is to unpack everything. I have done this here. All the components in front of you. The first thing we do is we assemble the grow tent. This here. It comes with a little manual. You do the frame first. You stand up to the frame and then you pull the pull the fabric over it there. like this and then you close the zipper leave it like this next we need the LED grow light and these hooks Please take these four hooks and inside the tent you place one here another one there same on this side and the last hook goes in there one, two, three, four now we take the LED, you want to avoid touching the chips because sometimes you can swipe them off. The cable goes to the same side as this big hole at the top. You want the LED to be about 12 inches above the plant. Right now I'm using the very last chain link to hang it, above, to hang it over the hook. But I can of course also hang the light higher by using other chain links. This is how you change the height. The LED is hanging inside the tent. Next. Now we need the fan. And this silver duct thing. And the warm clamp. I will now attach this silver duct to the fan. For this step you will need a screwdriver a flathead screwdriver and I open it up all the way basically until it doesn't go any further and then I put it over the duct and the fan has there's a sticker on one side sticker here and there's no sticker on the other side. We attach the duct to the side where there's no sticker. No sticker on the fan, duct over it. It works best if you stand it on the table like this. And now make sure this is really tight. The unit looks like this now. Now we need these two tent parts. You can see they are different. This one is deeper. This one is kind of more flat. We start with the deep one. They will go into the tent towards the top. And this one goes into the back of the tent. There's the back of the tent. And you slide them and you slide them over there kind of like this so this one is towards the back of the tent almost all the way to the back now I have the other one which is a bit more flat and it also goes in here but it's a bit more to the to the front so in your tent there's kind of like a sleeve going through here I have cut this off in my this is kind of my demonstration tent and I tried something so I cut this off but yours will have the sleeve going through here through these two poles now we take the fan that we have prepared so nicely and we feed this in here like this and the fan will lie on these two metal poles that we just put in there and you can see the these holes of the fan they go towards the front of the tent 
one of these metal poles is under here and the other one is here thing make sure they are really close as close as they can be to the tent so that the whole thing doesn't fall down the fan cable is a bit longer than it needs to be so you could you could put it behind the tent or somewhere hidden so that it doesn't annoy you but make sure you have the plug laying here because you will need it in the next step now we're gonna need top plate with the led driver the touch screen controller and the sensors this is the air sensor it measures the temperature and humidity in the box and this is the soil sensor and you will see that uh, it splits up here and it goes to this mail connector difficult to see now you take the top plate and you lead that connector through this hole from the bottom to the top now you take the controller there's um, this terminal here and there's this cable here and you want to screw this cable in here there's one this is plus purple one goes into plus open them up first Okay, and now there's now there's this cable which which we have here, and it goes to the one that fits here. You can now feed the cable through there, like this, and the other cable goes through the other hole. It looks like this now. Now this is from the fan, the cable. You can now connect it down here to the to the one connector that's still free and you place this whole plate on here like this there are now cables which need to go into the box and which is easier there's a hole here and you just feed them through here this one is the these are the, the sensor cables they also go in here you know the plate is on here you plug in the LED plug and you can see this plate it somehow it, it can lay on this fan so the whole thing looks like this just one thing left the air filter goes on top of here okay that's what it looks like now this is the led cable basically this this thick one here that previously we've led it through this hole into the box and we gotta connect it to the led and this one here it's going to sit on the led because uh, it will pull up the heat from the led so you you don't want to run the led without this because it will become quite hot but since we use this it's cooled nicely and the cooler an LED runs the longer it lasts now you can connect the, the main power cable this is the one that goes to the wall and it will look like this so if you now hit the button start to grow the light switch is on and yeah the fan speeds up it's now doing a grow back the air sensor just un untangle this you will need this we're gonna use it to do it like this and then you want to connect it to this pole somewhere like this so you can move it up and down you want to have it slightly above the led that's the led here so you put it slightly above you also will have received this fabric pot. Into the fabric pot goes the soil sensor. Soil sensor needs to be in the center of the pot. So basically you fill, you fill it with your potting mix, your soil, halfway. Then you put the sensor in there so that it's straight in the center of the soil, of 
all the potting mix or whatever you've in here. You want it straight in the center so you get the, the right reading for the humidity. And once it's in there, you fill it up all the way to the top with soil and you germinate seeds. There's another video on my YouTube on how to germinate seeds. And once it's germinated, you put, you transplant the plant in here and, and you're growing. Okay, that's, that's how it works. Make sure you connect this to Wi-Fi, so you always get the, so you always get the, uh, the latest software. And leave comments in our forum. If you haven't access to the forum yet, please email hello at tomatotent.de and I give you access. You can change this to Celsius. You can change the light duration here. This shows you the humidity in the soil and also the soil temperature down here. This dimmer button will lower the brightness of the light so that you can look at your plant safely. If you push the button twice quickly, the light will switch off completely. Just in case you want to switch it off. If you hit, hit the button again, then it goes back on. Full brightness. In case you have already a plant going, you can change the day counter here. Let's say your plant is, let's say your plant is already 10 days old. You can change that here. The filter comes with a sock, with a white sock that's supposed to go over here, but we don't use it because it's, it blocks too much airflow and it's not good. So don't use it. Just use it, this filter like this. And um, happy growing.